Trump releases epic anti-Biden-Harris campaign ad. Stop Joe Biden and his rioters. The Trump camp unveils hard-hitting ads showing Kamala Harris laughing as America burns. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on The Gateway Pundit, we're going to talk about an epic new Trump ad released by the Trump campaign, and it is, oh my gosh, it blew off my socks because it is literally like The Purge. <laughs> This is just one of the clips that they had. The other one is a fully fledged trailer. It's kind of like a movie. Here you can see uh, <laughs> Joe Biden kneeling, Kamala Harris laughing, and America burning. And I like how they say Joe Biden's peaceful protest. They should have said mostly peaceful. Because that's what this is all about, folks. This is about the destruction and chaos that Biden and Harris have let happen and even encouraged. So we're gonna take a look at the ad. <laughs> And it is terrifying, folks, because it paints a picture of America's future, a future under Biden. Now, before we look at the footage, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell button for notifications for more content. And now, a quick word from our sponsor, Double Tap Audio. If you're interested in virtually indestructible headphones that never break, look no further. Double Tap has beautifully once-fired brass, extremely durable cords, and the R2 model is interchangeable and even comes with Bluetooth technology. One full charge can last up to 20 hours. Get the Double Tap headphones today. Click the link down below in the description. So let's roll the footage, folks. Meet Joe Biden's supporters. This is a movement, I'm telling you. They're not gonna stop, and they should not. These people are tearing up our lives. <laughs> Third straight night, Portland police declared a riot. The vast majority of the protests have been peaceful. Over the weekend, 59 officers injured and 47 people arrested. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio announcing a proposal to cut a billion dollars from the New York City Police Department. We need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. Whoever Trump has on his team making these campaign ads is a political and media meme genius. He must have actual meme magicians spinning their magic because this is the most powerful ad that I've ever seen in, in a long time, such a long time. I'm not talking about funny. I'm not talking about amusing. I'm talking about powerful. What could be more powerful than this ad? Now let's break this down, folks. First off, we start with the basic premise, meet Joe Biden supporters. And obviously, the Democrats, including Joe Biden, including Kamala Harris, have voiced their support for the protests, for the mostly peaceful protests, for the riots, for the destruction, and for the chaos. They've allowed it to happen. They've encouraged it. They've looked away. Now, the imagery they show is iconic. For example, there's a time that violent protesters, uh, BLM, Antifa, they got a, a head of a pig. And I don't know how they got that head. Word on the street is they actually killed a live pig to get that head, which is a animal rights violation in my opinion. And, you know, it's, it's abuse. And, and they lit it on fire. The pig is supposed to represent the police. Yeah. These totally seem like people we can live with in a peaceful functioning society. They're not like uh, criminals at all. And then there's a straight up lie from the Democrats and the mainstream media that the protests have been... Mostly peaceful. The vast majority of the protests have been peaceful. Over the weekend, 59 officers injured and 47 people arrested. The most amazing thing about this is that it's literally like a movie. None of this footage is, is uh, made up. None of this footage is fake. None of this has been reenacted. All of this is real footage, real audio, real life. These are the protests because... 
what's really going on, my friends, is not a mostly peaceful protest. It's not even just a riot. What we're seeing is a revolution, a color revolution, a revolution of cultural Marxists trying to destroy society. Now, what does this mean? It's very simple, folks. They're trying to overthrow the United States. Don't believe me? Democrats have openly admitted it. They refuse to concede the presidency on election day under any circumstances. So when Trump and if Trump wins in a landslide on election day, and he probably will, Biden will refuse to concede. And then the Democrats will magically keep finding mail-in ballots, and they're going to keep finding them, keep finding them, until, oh, what do you know? They actually won out of nowhere. They're planning to cheat. They're telling you that they're planning to cheat. They even said that if, if Biden doesn't win, there will be violence on the streets. They're threatening you. They're saying, unless you vote for our guy, the riots will never stop. Now, I personally am going to give you a prediction here. The culture war is not over. In fact, it's only just beginning. The civil war is underway. Let me explain what I mean, folks. If Trump wins, the riots will continue because orange man bad. But Trump is the only one who can restore law and order. He's the only one with the balls to tackle these people. On the other hand, if Biden wins, the riots and looting and protests will not stop. It's never going to stop. You want to know why? Because these people don't care about the presidency. They're revolutionaries. They're throwing a revolution. We are currently in the midst of not just a culture war, but a civil war. The future of America hangs in the balance. And Team Trump is perfectly spreading that message. Now, you know, the left-wingers and liberals will say, oh, this is just Trumpian propaganda. Biden didn't say that the protests were mostly peaceful. He literally did, though. It's on the footage. Huh, believing footage? CNN said it was not true. You know CNN lies, right? Psh, the media's not allowed to lie. That's like saying police officers are allowed to lie. It's the law. These people are absolutely clueless because this is the reality of what's going on in America. They're burning things down. Now, I think that the left wing is pulling off more than they can chew. Now, certain left wing commentators have said, those right wingers are so arrogant. They think that just because they're pro-gun that they could easily stop a civil war. It's not going to be how you, like you think. They have the media. They have control. Okay, cool. Yeah, they do. But I think people vastly including left-wingers who criticize the left, vastly underestimate the right. Oh boy, my friends. When the right goes to war, they win. The right... W okay, so let me put it this way. The left is emotional, violent, and impulsive. They'll riot, they'll destroy, they'll beat people on the street. Yeah, that can be very, very destructive, and it certainly has very bad consequences for our civilization. But when the right goes to war... They're cold, calculated, and fueled by rage. Simply put, they're better at it. The right is better at war. So I think that if there is a civil war, and this is all hypothetical, folks, I hope there's no civil war. I don't want to see violence. I don't want to see chaos in the streets. I want to see law and order return to America so that we can live in peace, so that people can make a living, and so that we can discuss our differences. But if, and only if, there is a civil war, I guarantee you the right after all of this abuse, after all of this tolerance, will run out of patience. And when that happens, my friends, ooh, what is that saying? There's some sort of saying, I believe it goes something like, like, Lord forbid, when a kind man becomes angry, because you're going to see the purest rage, the purest fury. Now, I am concerned, because the Democrats have openly admitted that they're planning to steal the election. As I explained earlier, even if Trump wins in a landslide, they're going to say, no, we still have to count the mail-in ballots. They're going to throw away Republican ballots. They're going to make up their own ballots. They're going to cheat, guaranteed, because this has already happened. We've had whistleblowers admitting that in Democrat-run municipals and in areas, they admitted to it. They said that we steal people's ballots, we, we melt the glue, and then we switch the ballot with a Democrat or we throw out ballots, or we magically find a ballot, or we do ballot harvesting. The Democrats are planning to steal the election. In fact, it's a coup, and it's so blatant, it's so obvious, that I think even the average American has realized it by now. 
they'll never stop. In fact, I predict that if Biden steals this election, because I don't believe he can win legitimately, that's just my opinion, it's going to get worse, not better. It's going to get worse because Biden will say, well, these are mostly peaceful protests. It's okay. Until the day comes that they're at the White House, Antifa and BLM storm the White House, and they swarm like zombies. Maybe Biden won't be safe. Maybe Biden will get attacked for being a straight white male. The Democrats are making a huge mistake. They're drinking the poison of far leftism. They have been for some time. And eventually, that poison will destroy the Democratic Party. So enjoy this ad. It's powerful. Share it with people. Share this video with people. Show them the truth. And they're just never going to learn. See, the left will never learn until their homes are being burned down, until the mob comes for them, and it, it will. One of the things that always amazes me is how you have all of these white left progressives, these white SJWs that are out there rioting in the street. Don't they realize that when they're pushing like this white people are bad narrative, well, they're white too. What do you think happens if they succeed in their culture war, in their civil war? What happens if BLM actually wins? Well, they've said themselves, they're going to abolish whiteness. That means white people. Even if you think that you're a liberal or a left-wing activist, they despise you. They've said it themselves. They've admitted this. They're going to come for you next. This is how the far left works, okay? You take out one target, and then you need a new target. And then you take out that target. First, it's the rich. Then it's the whiteness. Uh, then it's the Asians. Then it's the Jewish people. I mean, it just goes on and on. It never ends. This is dangerous ideology, folks. It's happened in other countries, and it's happening here. So make no mistake. Trump is the last one fighting for American interests. Joe Biden is an extremist. He's not a moderate. He's not a centrist. He's actively supporting these violent riots and making excuses for them. And oh, and he claims that, oh, I condemn the violence. I condemn the riots. But he only did it when his poll numbers went down. What does that tell you? That tells you that the Democrats really do support their brutality, the chaos, and the purge on the streets. But that, my friends, is merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below in the comment section. As always, if you like the content that I produce and want to support the channel, there are several ways you can do so. You could join me on Patreon or Subscribestar. You know, uh, you can join for a buck. You can give five bucks. It's really up to you. And that will get you access to a private Discord server where I hang out, where my friends hang out. We have a good time. If you want to donate, visit my donor box page or uh, send me some crypto. I'm really into that <laughs> crazy internet money. And of course, uh, consider checking out my sponsor, Double Tap. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>